Hello everyone, a very logical noon to you all. Welcome to our Quizdom series session. Yes, are you ready for this Quizdom? Solve 10 questions of vocabulary plus 10 questions of GK on daily basis based on the daily newspaper. Isn't that amazing? Today we are going to start with 5th February and uh, I have 10 questions in Vidigya Vocab Vista plus 10 questions for GK Quest. So let's get started with Vidigya Vocab Vista. Question number one coming right up. Alright, living in the harsh desert for years, the nomads became dashed to extreme temperatures and scarcity. All, I think all of you can easily guess the answer ki kya ho sakta hai, bohat hi easily context se hi answer samaj mein aara hai. Seldom you get sentences wherein you can always understand what can be the, you know, answer very directly. So let's see, number one, living in the harsh desert for years. The nomads became dash to extreme. It's more like getting adapted. A is unaccustomed. B inured. C tender or is it D vulnerable? Let's eliminate which don't go with the context. And the correct answer will be right there. Unaccustomed, nahi. Tender is weak. No, vulnerable. Being vulnerable is being at risk. So that's incorrect. Inured means getting accustomed or getting adapted. So, answer is B, in your. Okay, next. Seeking dash in the tranquil mountains, she found solace in the quietude and beauty of nature. Many keywords, solace, quietude. Okay, options are A, ruckus, B, solitude, C, bustle or is it D, commotion. Ruckus, bustle and commotion indicate the noise, indicate the disturbance. Whereas, solitude, solace and quietude. This is what we are looking for here. B. Solitude is correct. Alright, number 3. The wise elder known for his dash was sought after for advice on important matters. Wise elder was sought after for important matters. We have to do some of our own things. We have to do some of our own things. We have to do some of our own things. So, let's take a look at the answers. Or, uh, let's take a look at the options A. Folly B. Naivety C. Sagacity or is it D. Indifference Indifference sabse pehle eliminate hoga. Indifference indicates not being concerned whereas we are looking for an option which would indicate you are uh, you are going to your elders for a good um, good answer to your question a good way of solving the problem Folly is again incorrect. Naivety. Naivety is incorrect. Why? Being naive is being inexperienced. Whereas we are going to people who are experienced. And folly is to have like a bad judgment here in this case. Something that you sense ki haan is cheese ka to uh, result galat hi hone wala hai. Something bad is going to happen. Sagacity. Sagacity means someone who has a good judgment. Sagacity means someone who uh, is, you know, wise. Someone who can you go for an advice to okay number four the pastry chef ensured the dash of the desert of the dessert by using high quality ingredients and meticulous preparation chef ensured the dash of the dessert exquisiteness of the dessert meticulous preparation or sip good quality ingredients ke saath. let's take a look at the options blandness barrenness lusciousness and dryness Blandness means something that lacks taste altogether. Very boring. Kisi cheese mein bol do. Taste ke concern mein tasteless bol do. So blandness is incorrect because the pastry chef is ensuring ki ye cheese exquisite honi chahiye. So for that we have a term lusciousness. That's correct. Barrenness means barren. Jahan par koi growth possible nahi hai. Where there is no growth. So barrenness indicates hopelessness. Dryness. Same thing. Answer is C. Lusciousness. Okay, already halfway through the quiz. Number 5. The funeral was accompanied by dash music setting a somber tone for the mourners. Mourners. Those who are mourning. Jo shok mana rahe hai. Funeral. Sadness. You have to describe the music here. It can't be 
let's take a look at the answers for options first blithe lugubrious upbeat and jovial what it can't be it can't be upbeat and jovial happy music to hogi nahi they are in mourning all right let's take a look at option a blithe and lugubrious blithe here also indicates joyfulness in a sense music ke sense mein blithe nahi jayenge but yes indifference not concerned carefree happy attitude all together kisi ka bina soche samjhe apne hi masti mein we say no mast rehna then we have lugubrious this indicates uh sadness melancholy bolo melancholy would be incorrect why reason being we are talking about funeral so lugubrious that indicates shok manana here mourning all right answer is b lugubrious okay then we have a uh, number 6 all right number 6 the powerful hurricane threatened to uh, annihilate the powerful hurricane threatened to dash entire coastal communities prompting evacuation orders your options are a enhance b furor c annihilate or is it d deprive powerful hurricane threaten to dash entire coastal communities prompting evacuation orders matlab andesha tha ki powerful hurricane hurricane is uh, like coming with a great force and it can destroy all the entire coastal communities so it cannot be enhance it cannot be furor why furor nahi ho sakta because it indicates anger mostly and uh, excitement in some cases so furor is incorrect annihilate means to destroy that could be our answer that is our answer because deprive is also like not going with the doesn't go with the context here because deprive indicates denying someone of something kisi ko kuch cheez chahiye aur usse usko vanchit rakhna wo cheez unhe nahi dena so that is depriving them correct answer is c annihilate number 7 the dash attitude of the wealthy heiress made it difficult for others to approach her एटीट्यूड की बात कर रहे हैं द वर्ड्स आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द एरेस और हम उसको टू कम टू एन आंसर वी आर गोइंग टू सी मेड इट डिफिकल्ट मेड इट डिफिकल्ट फॉर द अदर्स टू अप्रोच हर दैट सिंपली मीन्स द एटीट्यूड इज नॉट एट ऑल पीपल फ्रेंडली लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द ऑप्शन ए सबमिसिव बी टिमिट बी अप्रोचेबल और इज इट डी सुपरसीलेस ऑल राइट ऑप्शन आर वेरी क्लियर ओवर हियर The dash attitude approachable सबसे पहले हटाएंगे Submissive submissive one uh, that is obedient सबसे पहले हटाएंगे Timid is weak very timid very meek feeble supercilious is the correct answer here because that clearly indicates uh, an attitude in which you consider yourself to be superior to others so that is the kind of attitude which is not people friendly at all. Okay, number eight. Philosophers often delve into the dash of existence, exploring the fundamental nature of being. Your options are A. Quiddity, B. Superficiality, C. Anomaly, or is it D. Triviality? अब ध्यान से पढ़ेंगे क्वेश्चन गाइस. Philosophers often delve into the dash of existence. Philosophers are people who talk about philosophy, who or talk about life, its existence. So what are they actually? pointing out matlab existence ka let's take a look at the option superficiality would be incorrect first of all i will eliminate this option because superficiality means not going into the depth of things talking about things which are not very important in this case superficial matlab upar upar se depth mein nahi jana so that's a clear answer which is to be eliminated anomaly anomaly means डिविएशन मतलब एग्जिस्टेंस के बारे में अगर बात करो एनॉर्मली कैसे समथिंग दैट यू एक्सपेक्ट बट डिविएटिंग फ्रॉम वॉट इज जनरली एक्सपेक्टेड एनॉर्मली इज इन करेक्ट ट्रिवियलिटी ट्रिवियलिटी इंडिकेट्स समथिंग विच इज ऑफ लेस इंपॉर्टेंस इतना इंपॉर्टेंस नहीं होना सो दैट्स इन करेक्ट क्विडिटी हियर इज करेक्ट क्विडिटी इंडिकेट्स द एसेंस ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस कुछ ऐसा जिसके जिससे वो चीज जानी जाती है पेक्यूलियरली वेरी द वेरी एसेंस ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो एक वेडिटी इज करेक्ट 
Number 9 the artist used dash colors to create a vibrant and lively painting that captivated viewers your options are a descent b incandescent c crescent or is it d consent jo option hum sabse pehle eliminate karenge wo first of all it's consent because consent ka कलर्स से कुछ यहाँ लेना देना नहीं है कंसेंट मीन्स यूर बिलिंग टू डू समथिंग योर दैट्स कंसेंट डिसेंट इंडिकेट्स डिस अग्रीमेंट दैट्स अगेन इन करेक्ट नाउ इन कैन डिसेंट एंड क्रीसेंट क्रीसेंट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द शेप ऑफ मून क्रीसेंट वन ऑफ द वे वी कैन डिस्क्राइब क्रीसेंट देन इन कैन डिसेंट दिस हैज समथिंग टू डू विथ समथिंग बींग वेरी ब्राइट एंड शोई सो दैट्स इन कैन डिसेंट यूज इन कैन डिसेंट कलर्स the captivated viewers okay answer is b incandescent number 10 last question for vidhika vocabulary here it comes after weeks of intense work and sleepless nights the exhausted writer look dash and worn out options are a vigorous b animated c haggard or is it d radiant radiant bilkul nahi dikhega it look look very tired right so d is not the answer vigorous full of like you know energy yeah um, all set to do something more no animated lively no all these options indicate liveliness that's incorrect haggard indicates lazy looking very tired sleep deprived worn out okay so this brings us to the end of vidhya vocab vista time for the gk quest check your quizdom everyone time for gk quest number 1 World Cancer Day is observed globally on which date? Is it 2nd February? Is it 3rd February? Is it 4th or is it 5th February? Answer is 4th of February everyone. Number 2. What is the theme of World Cancer Day? Is it close the care gap? Is it I am and I will? Is it we can and I can or is it none of the above? Correct answer is close the care gap. Answer is option A. Number 3 which country has celebrated its 76th independence day on 4th february 2024 is it a myanmar is it b nepal is it c malaysia or is it d sri lanka let's check the correct answer correct answer is d sri lanka everyone it is celebrated on 4th february to commemorate its internal political independence from political independence from british rule Number 4 recently which state's cabinet has cleared a final UCC draft is it Bihar is it Uttarakhand is it Gujarat or is it Assam let's check the correct answer correct answer is B Uttarakhand cabinet half way through the quiz everyone buckle up solve the quiz with me let's check how many correct answers you get government of india recently announced bharat ratna for bjp stalwart and former indian deputy prime minister is it murli manohar joshi is it lal krishna adwani is it atul bihari bajpayee or is it sushma swaraj the correct answer coming right up here government of india recently announced bharat ratna for bjp stalwart in former indian deputy prime minister lal krishna adwani number 6 the united states and britain launched strikes against 36 houthi targets in which country is it iran is it iraq is it yemen or is it syria The correct answer coming right up everyone the united states and britain launched strikes against 36 houthi targets in yemen option c everyone yemen the second day of major us operations against iran linked groups following a deadly drone strike in jordan that killed three american soldiers last weekend Okay number 7 everyone president H Jean Hob a veteran of the country's liberation struggle and its first post independence prime minister died on Sunday he was the president of which country is it A Namibia is it B Kenya is it C Zimbabwe or is it Jordan let's check the correct answer Namibia's president H Jean Hob a veteran of the country's liberation struggle and its first post independence prime minister died on sunday a namibia everyone 37 recently which indian cricketer has made double century in a test match against england is it rohit sharma is it shubham gill is it virat kohli or is it yashasvi jaiswal the correct answer is yashasvi jaiswal okay number 9 which state will roll out the mahatri vandan yojana a monthly cash assistance scheme for married women from march 1 is it madhya pradesh is it mizoram is it rajasthan or is it chatisgarh let's check the correct answer answer is chatisgarh 
will roll out matri vandan yojana matri cash assistance scheme from married women from march 1 last question for vidhya gk quest here it comes which country has celebrated 76 independence day on 4th of february 2024 All right your options are is it Myanmar is it Nepal is it Malaysia or is it Sri Lanka the correct answer is yet again Sri Lanka let's see kis kis ko yaad tha all right the correct answer is Sri Lanka everyone okay this brings us to the end of vidhya quizdom series february 5 tune in for more don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time till then stay logical